Wagwan people, it is I, Sal Bao, spring an OU match against Tomoni. I can't pronounce that because retarded, but. <laughs> yeah, I got from a smoke on Wi Fi Puzzle Finder, and I've finally got a new team, or shall I say, I finally imported a team from PO, which I was using. And it isn't Hale because I'm tired of being associated with the Hale guy, and it's not Stall either. It's actually Hyper Offense, which I'm not really. I don't really play too much, seeing as I don't really like how the battles are so short. So as I think Pokemon should be about like maybe prediction, and the Hyper Offense is just pure attack, basically. But it's actually quite fun, and I'm learning quite a bit, of, uh, a lot from it. So yeah. Anyway, look at the teams very quickly. The only thing that I'm worried about is the Starmie and Sizzle, seeing as Starmie outspeeds all of my guys. I mean, apart from the Azelf, which is my suicide lead, Stealth Rock, Screams, and Taunt. And I didn't choose Joss's defense because, yeah, Azelf is much faster and I could get a quick taunt off anyway. And then you just got all my Cell Sweepers. You got uh, the Verizion for Rainstall, you got then the Sizzle, Terrakion, Deny, just as um, some priority users, not the Terrakion, but the Sub SD. And then you've also got Gyarados, which is. Yeah, you will get into that later on. But yeah, I'm just going to lead off with Zelf, seeing as that's the, my usual leads. Thinking that you probably lead off with the Ferroform. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the show. So, as I did predict, he's going to lead off with the Ferrothorn, as I'm just going to lead off with my Azelf, my suicide lead. It's kind of strange, actually. You don't really have leads, really, in Gen 5, but this is my dedicated leads, usually, anyway. As, I'm, this is the Smoke and Wi-Fi about to find us, so I don't, I'm not expecting him to predict the taunt, so I'm just going to go right for it, even if he does go for a combination of Jarrah Ball and Power Whip, I... No, wait. If he goes for two Jarrah Balls, I can survive, I believe, and if I go for Jarrah Ball and pa If he goes for Jarrah Ball and Power Whip, I can't survive, but... This is just from past knowledge, anyway, because I tried this once, and yeah. Anyway, just going to get my Stealth Frog says he is going to switch out into his Sizzle as he does go for the Pursuits, this gives me Scout Initiative that he is Choice Banded and also the power output is immense and that is definitely a crit even though I'm max HP and I did not switch out and I do have the Reflect up. Yeah, I was annoyed but in any case I know he's Choice Banded right there and there. Just going to go to my Terrakion, the Monster Man, yep. As he's going to switch out, seeing as he's locked into it, if he does stay in and goes for another pursuit, he's going to give me a great justified boost, which is greatly appreciated actually, thank you. <laughs> as I'm just going to go for the substitute as he brings in the Ferrothorn, I don't, don't know why he would go to close combat, as he does have a Jettison and a Starmie. As I'm just going to go for the Soul Stance, I was fearing him to actually go for the Jarable, but he doesn't. I'm just thinking, what? He actually goes for the Stealth Rocks. I'm like, oh my lord. Is a Terrakion the biggest threat in OU since, since I don't know, maybe Deoxys S has been banned? And he's behind the sub and he's got a Sword Dance sub and you do not break the sub. Oh my days, fam. No, <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> Goodbye, Ferrothorn. That's too much. That's too much. Just gonna go for a close combat. Easy knock him out. Easy. As he is gonna go into his Genesis right now. As I am gonna go for the Stone Edge. It does hit. Boosted by the Rock Gem, another easy KO. Ah, oh, things are dying left and right, right here and now. Oh my goodness, Thrakion is too good. I think it's borderline broken, to be honest. But who knows? Who knows? I mean, not many things can actually go into it. But yeah, fuck you do. As he's gonna finally bring in Starmie. I'm not sure why he didn't do that in the first place. Actually, you're surprised that the Stone Edge killed, which is okay. <laughs> Plus two Rock Gem, but okay, sure. Well, I'll your boat, but it's not PO, so yeah. Gonna go for the surf as he's gonna get hurt by life orb. Go for stone again. Miraculously, I do hit again. Oh my goodness, this is two in a row, really. <laughs> Good grief, and easily knock that thing out. So yeah, I believe that's three Pokemon down on his side. As he's gonna go into the sizzle. Terrakion's done too much, so I know he's gonna go right for the bullet punch. No reason to predict or predict my switch as I'm just going to go into my Gyarados. Oh, this thing's such a beast. I actually have Intimidate on this Gyarados even though it is a hyper offense team or offense. <laughs> Whatever my accent decides as 
Because I have Intimidates to her, I can easily switch into Sizzle and Lucario, double priority Lucario, seeing as that's a big threat to my team. Or it can be anyway, if it's allowed to set up. Uh, so I'm just going to go for Dragon Dance. Gyarados and Rain is too good, honestly. So many sweeps on Pio, it's just too good. Unfortunately, it doesn't get to shine too much as I'm just going to go for Adamant's Life Orb plus one. Waterfall, it does, just misses out on the KO as it does go for the Volt Switch and easily knocks me out. But Stealth Rocks are up and he does have, and the Starmie's already dead, so he's just gonna go and die when, upon switching. So, yeah, and it's called the stream because, yeah, actually, I'll explain that name later when it actually does something. <laughs> so, yeah, he's gonna go into the Hydreigon as. I was thinking that I could either switch into my Terrakion or my Virizion, since I don't think it's going to be Choice Scarfed, and if it was, then I'm pretty sure I could live a Fire Blast. But if I did go into Terrakion, I thought he might switch out into the Magnezone, Death Fodder off as I go for close combat, switch into this Sizzle, and then he could thrust me out with the Bullet Punch. I didn't really want to have that predicament, as I'm just going to knock him straight out with that close combat. As he actually switched out into Sizzle, doesn't go for a Bullet Punch, and I easily knocked that thing out with a Close Combat, which tells me that he wasn't max HP, max attack. Well, he wasn't max HP, it was max speed. But either way, I am just gonna kill off the Hydreigon, Sizzle, and the Magnezone will die upon switching, so that is good game. Very on sweet, very nice. <laughs> so yeah, good game, Tommy, Noe, blah 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 blah. And yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the other side.